Hello? Hello, Mrs. Petroff. It's Nancy Drew. What's happened? How's Linda? Hello? Hi, Mrs. Petroff. Hi, what's going on? You have reached the Petroffs. No one can come to the phone right now. Feel free to either leave a message or call back. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Petroff. It's Nancy Drew. I just arrived at Blackmore Manor. Why don't you give me a call when you get the chance? Bye. You have reached the Petroffs. No one can come to the phone right now. Feel free to either leave a message or call back. Thank you. Must be at her niece's. You have reached the Petroffs. No one can come to the phone right now. Feel free to either leave a message or call back. Thank you. Still at her niece's. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Petroff. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petroff. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale cooped up like that? I don't know why. I mean, she absolutely adores Hugh. She was thrilled when they got married and couldn't wait to start a new life with him and his daughter there in England. Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. She's fine. I mean, she's no worse, at least as far as I can tell. That's good news, I suppose. What can I do for you? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda, although... It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason, which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. No. Linda told you she found a secret passageway? Yes. Do you think she wasn't telling the truth? The good news is I found a secret passageway, too. So Linda wasn't imagining things. That's encouraging. The bad news is, I didn't see what Linda says she saw inside it. Oh, and we're back to square one. She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. Yes, Mrs. Drake. Why do you ask? Frankly, I was too worried about Linda to take notice of much of anything there. Except that most of the rooms I saw looked like they'd been decorated by a medieval monkey. What do you mean? Oh, dear. Well, she may want you to leave, but I don't. Not until you find out what's happening to her. She never calls. I always have to call her. And even then, she'll barely say two words to me. She says she doesn't want me at Blackmore anymore. She wants me to leave. The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself? You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Not really. Mrs. Drake told me who he was, but whenever I passed the library, he was always on his cell phone, talking as if he didn't want anyone to hear. You know, furtively. Not a word. He was taking great pains to make sure he was not overheard. No, I never did. Say, you don't suppose he has something to do with what's been happening to Linda, do you? I'm not sure yet. I'm still, you know, <laughs> gathering facts. I'd forgotten all about him until just now. He was up to something. I don't know what, but he was up to something. What's going on? It's Lulu. I'm afraid I bet it's something I shouldn't have. Well, Hugh Penvillain just called to say that his little girl just called him. She's upset, which means he's upset, which means... Well, which means you've been uninvited to Blackmore Manor. You mean... Call a cab, dear. You're fired. I don't know. Given her fragile state of mind, what's true and what she thinks is true may well be two different things, that's all. I didn't arrange for you to visit Blackmore Manor so you could spend your time scaring the wits out of elderly women. But I really had no idea Mrs. Drake would react like that. I mean, all I did was knock on her door. It was the dead of night. What on earth were you expecting? For her to get up and have tea with you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Petrov. I guess I wasn't thinking. Well, unfortunately, what's done is done, and there's nothing more to be said. Well, there's one more thing. I'm fired. Bingo. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. 
My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Thanks, Nancy. Take care.